boost. Michelle Finlayson is here to show you how to get volume using a flat iron. So that That's is the right. that is the sort of the interesting thing about this. Right. We think volume and we think, I don't know, you're gonna use a crimper. We think flat iron, you think, oh, you're straightening, straightening it out. Straightening it out. And actually, so much. no, and I think that's important actually. We used to call it a straightening iron. Yes. No longer, right? It's no. really just the plate is flat. We know we can curl with it now. We can do waves. Yes. But I think people still struggle getting the movement and the body out of the hair. So I wanted to show how you can get volume using a flat iron. Okay. So. I know I do. It's a struggle <laughs> with a flat iron. This is Julia, right. our model, by the way. Yes. So. What I want to talk about is when, first of all, on the side of the head, a lot of us, when we're flat ironing the hair, even for a curl, you can still flat iron this way at the regrowth. A lot of us do this. Whoop. Well, we do that. I do that, but we're going to do this. <laughs> we're going to come in and we just do that and we come straight down. Yeah. But what you actually want to do if you want to get volume with an iron mm -hmm. is you actually want to come in straight out from the head. Okay. So when you're placing your iron in, instead of holding it and coming down, yeah. you're going to come into the head like this. Yeah. And turn and create a little bit of body. So you're going to bend it a bit. You're going to bend it, exactly. Mm. So when you're working on the side of the head, we're going to do this nice, even in here. So hold it 90 degrees to wherever it is. Yeah. Come in and curve out. So and this you can is see when the you body. want it to be straight, but with a bit bait, of oomph. Bait. <laughs> straight with oomph, exactly. Straight with oomph. So okay. even down here, this can be smooth. Yeah but you still get that body at the regrowth. Nice. If that makes sense. Yeah, 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 right. no, it makes sense. So it's not like, it's not pin straight going right down. Exactly, it actually gives volume. Like I hope that that, you can see that yes. there's a bounce there. It's got a little, yes. yeah, it goes and now, out. On the top of the head, this is where I think most people are looking for that little oomph. Yes. And the flat iron, it's really hard to figure out like everybody knows how to use it at the bottom because yes. you just kind of straighten it out. But what do you do up here? So we're gonna talk about how to get the body on the top of the head and in the crown. Okay. So I, I'm gonna section horizontally throughout the top of the head. This is what you can, each of you can do. Yeah. I'm gonna come in. All right. So we're gonna imagine that this hair, you can see about how thick it is. Mm -hmm. We're gonna imagine that for this hair, we're going to work a slightly forward. Okay. So instead of pulling the hair back, yeah. we're gonna hold the hair slightly forward. I'm gonna place my iron, come up and around. So you come forward ah, and back. Look at that bump. Yes. That's and this great. Is, it's so beautiful, especially if you're going to put your hair in a ponytail and you just want a little bit of height. Mm -hmm. So again, not here, slightly forward. And curve it as if you're going to go around, for example, a round brush. Oh, I see. And that body is yeah. absolutely awesome. And yeah. it gives shine. If you have a kind of little bit fuzzy hair, even yes. those baby hairs, uh, we talked about last time. Yes. This actually gives a shine on the surface of the hair so it looks really beautiful and healthy. Right. My last tip is if yep. you've got a round brush, you can really take this to the next level. I'm sure mm -hmm. everybody's got a round brush somewhere. Mm -hmm. Is that you can kind of heat the hair up yeah. a couple times, place your round brush underneath the hair. Hang on, I'm just gonna get a nice clean section. And this is like a reminder of how you need to roll the flat iron. Wow. So that you get that, that lift. Now, right. when you've got that lift, then are, you're putting, uh, are you putting some kind of a spray in to keep it there? You bet. Okay. So what you want to do for each of, well, as you're working through the hair, is apply a nice heat protecting styling product before you blow dry. Yeah. But also we have flat iron spray that protects up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and God knows these flat irons are hot. Oh, hot. Yes. Yeah. And they do, it really helps to give that shine and that finish. So you can spray the section mm -hmm. before you put your flat iron in mm -hmm. for that first heat section. Then forget the spray, put the brush under mm -hmm. and give the body in the lift. That's so cool. All right. That is such a good lesson. So that's how you need to <laughs> Always just putting it in the opposite direction, right? Totally. It's almost always putting it in the opposite over direction. direction. And over direction. Yes. 